This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Linda McLennan back with me. Thank you for joining us again here on FYI. You're all the way from Perth today. You are the communication liaison for Heart to Heart Quilts, Lanark County. Thanks for joining us. 10 years. Happy anniversary. <laughs> We're celebrating. <laughs> We're celebrating, and you should. My goodness, you've done so much for our community, so many accomplishments. We're going to talk about that. But first, let's talk a little bit about what Heart to Heart Quilts are all about. Heart to Heart Quilts, Lanark County, are a nonprofit charity that was started 10 years ago. And the main purpose was to gift quilts to anyone living with a debilitating disease, be that physical or mental and to help provide comfort and a source of warmth at a time perhaps when they needed it most. So that's how the organization started with a very few a, a group of women who loved to quilt and needed somewhere to find a home for those quilts. And so that was the origin of our organization. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing because what brings more comfort to you when you're not feeling well than to you know get cozy with a quilt? Exactly, exactly. Now, how many people have you got uh, that make the, the quilts? Well, our numbers vary, but over the years, I would say we have been approximately 30 to 35 ladies who quilt. Um, and the people are involved in different ways. Perhaps they're not making as many quilts, but they might be working on binding the quilts. Or in the past, there have been people who do ironing, which is a, is a essential part of quilting. Or uh, we were very fortunate in 2014 to receive the long arm quilt and we had the money donated through TV Securities Underwriting. So it's a machine that allows us to actually quilt as opposed to hand quilting. It is a machine quilting and there are a number of ladies who are very talented and able to use that. So everyone brings skills in a different area and they all come together. And uh, lately we've had some new projects that we're very proud of. And again, that's just through the initiative of new members as they change over the years, the number that have been involved. So now do you have a location you all meet at or does everybody have their own thing to do at their own home and then you come together? How does that work? Most people do the quilting and do the, the making of the quilt at their own home. We have a fabric room. We're located at St. Paul's United Church here in Perth on Gore Street upstairs. And um, we have we're very fortunate to have a very large space there to hold the actual long arm quilting machine to store our fabric. And I should say that when you join our organization, the fabric, everything is supplied to you. So many, many quilters, I mean, have their own stash, but that is another bonus. The fabric is there. We just want your creativity to go ahead and make that quilt. So the quilts are done, are finished, I would say, at, at our location in Perth. And there's quality control. They're inspected to make sure that they meet a certain standard. And then they are stored there in the space that we have at St. Paul's in Perth. And I think perhaps that's why we've returned our open house to St. Paul's in the sanctuary. It's such a large venue downstairs, um, accessible, very accessible from one of the entrances and the warmth and comfort to spread out as many quilts as possible in the sanctuary for our open house. Absolutely, and you need the space for quilts, that's for sure. I'm so glad we you mentioned that ironing is important when you sew, because I'm a sewer as well, and oh my goodness, you can't do it without an iron. <laughs> you can't, no. definitely. No. Now you've been doing this for 10 years. Now let, let, tell us some of the numbers of how many quilts you've actually donated in the 10 years. We have, we have made approximately 1,000. We're pushing to get to that 1,000. We're 900 and something. So I think by May 6th, our 10th anniversary, we will reach that level. And we have gifted um, the, almost that number as well. So we keep a storage at our, at our location. So when the requests come in, we can go and see if it matches and get your quilt back. Our major fundraiser is um, through the Smith Falls Hospital Auxiliary, and we make quilts for every newborn that is born in that site. And then they in turn very kindly donate back to us a donation, a monetary donation, which we can then use to purchase fabric and to start the cycle again. And those, that number of baby quilts is over 3,500 in the 10 years, 35, yes, 3,500 in the 10 years that we've been in wow. operation. 
Wow, wow. You know, and, and you need to fundraise the price of fabric, good quality fabric. It, it's costly too. It is, and we're very fortunate to get many, many donations from community members, people cleaning out their stash or whatever, and we use every bit that we can. Our quilts are always 100% cotton, so that is one of our, our must. It must be cotton fabric. If it's not, we try to donate to another organization who can use that material for something in their own. Excellent, doing. excellent. Now I saw that your, your Hearts to Hearts quilts went to Lombardy School and donated some quilts there as well too they recently. Did, they did. One of the new uh, our initiatives, as I said, our, our main mandate when we started out was anyone living with debilitating diseases. And as a result, I would say almost of COVID, the schools began to, we began to see a need in the schools. And so we reached out to the Upper Canada District School Board and they in turn gave us the names of several students throughout the county, throughout their board district that would benefit from, from a quilt, just the comfort of a quilt, of the security, something that the warmth, um, and that was a fun one to do because we requested from those students what were their likes. And so there were quilts with cars and, and dogs and horses and action figures. And if at all possible, we have any of that fabric or could piece together something that would meet that theme, we would do that. So that was a fun one. And, and the need there was all the way from elementary school into the high school, the secondary school. There were children, students who benefit from those quilts. Absolutely, you know, and they benefit from the quilt. And again, I just, I, I would love to see children learn more about sewing and, and the, you know, just the, the, the respect that comes from making such a lovely item, but to, to be able to do it yourself too, like to, to maybe gather some interest and maybe I'd like to make a quilt. Start them young. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea to bring that back into the school system. And the, the children, I think, recognize, I think many of us think of quilts for an older generation, but they recognize the source of, of warmth and, and both internally and externally that those quilts bring. And also that they don't have to be perhaps a more dated your grandma's quilt, but something that's very modern and would appeal to them. And that's something in our request form uh, for every quilt that we try to meet, if at all possible, when people are requesting quilts, if you have a favorite color, or if you're thinking of someone who's a golfer or, or a sport, if we have fabric that can meet that need, we try to incorporate that. So when the quilt is received, it is, it is personalized in a certain way. Very nice, very nice. Now you have an open house on May the... We do. Is, is it May the 6th? May the 6th. Can you talk about that? May the 6th, the Saturday, yes. At St. Paul's in the sanctuary, it's May the 6th, one to four. So the quilts will be distributed throughout the pews in the sanctuary. And you will, as you said, you need to spread a quilt out it, it, to see its true beauty. So we're hoping as many people as possible will come. Our members will be there to chat with you and tell us about our organization. Uh, we have recognition of many people who have sponsored us throughout the years. So that recognition will be there as well. So we're hoping as many as possible. It's a, it's a walk through event and just come and enjoy and, and visit with our, our members at St. Paul's. And it's a free event? It's a free event, yes. I mean, donations are always welcome, but absolutely it is a free event. It's, it's giving back to our community to show what our members can do and perhaps it might, you know, you might think of someone, it is to request a quilt is no cost and to receive a quilt, no cost. So again, it, uh, we're hoping it will draw people who appreciate what we are able to do for the community. Absolutely, and I mean, there's so many people out there that might be interested in sewing and becoming a member. There's gonna be people Absolutely. interested in knowing about you and how to get a quilt. There's just so much to yeah. learn on this day of your open house. And all that information will be there and our members will be there to to talk about what we can give back. And you have a Facebook page and a website as well. We do, we do have a Facebook page. Uh, not, sorry, not a Facebook page, no. no. We have a web page at www.hhqlc.ca. And there's also a way of getting, uh, contacting info at uh, hhqlc.ca, which it is a personal you know, email if you want to chat about something. Um, yes, absolutely. But the open house probably 
probably is the best way. There will be information cards there with all these details if you want to take something home and think about it and then get in in contact with us after at a later date. Excellent. And, and again, the day of the open house is May 6th and it's at St. Paul's Church in Perth. Thank you very Thank much you. for putting that on. Thank you for everything you do for Hearts to Hearts Quilts and bringing comfort to so many people. Uh, almost 1,000. <laughs> We're, we're, we're crossing our fingers that we'll be there. The Excellent. balloons will be out. <laughs> ah, thank you very much for joining us. Linda McLennan from Hearts to Heart Quilts, uh, Lanark County. Thanks for joining us. May 6th, open house to learn more.